What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Next Win Podcast with your host, Aunt Ma, and co-host, Justin Fasur, and special guest, my wife, Christina Ma. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and today uh, we will be talking about uh, how stressful it's been being a homeowner. Um, you yourself have been through how many homes? Three? Three homes. Okay, in the last uh, seven years? The... Right? Yeah. Three homes in seven years. And how's it been being a homeowner? I think it's it's been pretty good. Yeah, because your husband does all the uh, maintenance. <laughs> so my husband, <laughs> as he's supposed to, deals with all the so the repair whoa. with the repairs, supposed all the to. the hard labor, and I help out with the cleaning and just taking care of the whole house and keeping it clean and everything else. All right, I nice. okay, heard that, guys. That's the balance. I, I get to stop cleaning. Yeah. What? Wait. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What is? So, what is the uh, the most rewarding part about having a home? I think the most rewarding part is that uh, you know that all the money that you're putting into it, it goes towards you. So it's kind mm. of like an investment, your own property, rather than um, you know. I've never really wanted to like uh, rent an apartment or rent a house. I I don't think I've even ever done that we because. Did. We we rent an apartment, oh, apartment and transition from. We didn't have a choice. So we moved from California to Vegas, and for about three months, we needed to find a place. So we rent an apartment. Yeah, and I didn't like that because we spent about what it was, like three over three thousand a month a month just to rent a tiny apartment, a two bedroom. Where was that at? Down a uh, Hualapai and what? like uh, Flamingo. Mm-hmm. Over there. Was it? Why? Why? Uh, because short-term <laughs> rentals just oh. cost more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah, they want you to stay there for at least like 12 months and then they'll drop it down like significantly. Like $1,000 a month. Yeah. yeah. But we're paying over 3000 a month and it was about, I want to say, what, 1,100 square feet? Yeah. And it just felt like a waste of money to me personally just because like it was in our own place and um, just... Not really being comfortable, I guess, like not being able to have like our own um, privacy, our own backyard, being able to, you know, have like your own garage to park and stuff because we have right. kids. So it's kind of different. Like if we didn't have kids, then I probably wouldn't uh, worry too much. But just because of that, like just being able to have our own space and mm-hmm. not have to worry about other people. There was right. just a lot of cockroaches in that apartment, too. What? Like a lot. That was the first time where I would be sleeping and cockroaches be on my legs what Mm -hmm. yeah when we first moved here we didn't know if that was the biggest thing because we saw cockroaches everywhere it was just an apartment thing and there was a luxury apartment that we're at yeah oh my gosh and when we would open the door we would have to like close it really fast so they wouldn't come in sounds like you're living in la like literally (laughs) before we open the door i gotta spray raid on on the door seal and then open the door so they don't come in (laughs) every time yeah Yeah. i don't know crazy man (laughs) yeah um what is what is the the most stressful part about being a homeowner i think hmm good question i think the most stressful part is i think it was going back to what we were arguing about earlier about trying to find a balance between like taking care of the house so because we have a bigger house now yeah it's so much more to clean and so much more to take care of and um i feel like with your work schedule too it's kind of hard to like try to balance things out so i try to take on um most of the cleaning once in a while there'll be some repairs that you have to do but not so much but even when it comes to like taking out the trash and stuff uh we don't have a a paved walkway so we have like a little hill that goes down and it's just a bunch of like gravel and rocks and stuff and then sometimes we'll just be like you take out the trash no you take it out and i'm like oh Like, we're just fighting over, like, little things like that. So, it's just trying to find a balance between taking care of it. So, what most people do to alleviate stress of being a homeowner is they get um, a housekeeper. Right. Or they pay for someone to clean the house once a month. Or actually, they do, like, weekly service, you know. And those people who do that, they don't ever stress or argue about cleaning the house, you know. And then, and I, I get it. Like, we're young. And we're also, you know, Chinese to where we're like, we don't want to pay someone <laughs> to clean our house. But is uh, it is it worth, like, reducing that workload? I think so. It's not even just about reducing the workload. It's also 
every day living in a clean house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, okay. you're like, man, these windows are so clean. Like, you just feel happy being in the home. So it just makes you work better. It makes you have a happier life with the family. And I think that's a benefit to it. Um, but, you know. I guess that ties into the sh- another stress of um, owning your own home because you are putting a lot of money into buying the house. You have to put the money in the down payments and you have your mortgage you have to deal with, insurance. Furnishing. You have to, yeah, yeah, furnishing, especially when you get a new build, like you have to completely furnish the house. So you're just taking all of that into consideration. So when it comes to being like, I don't know if it's a Chinese thing. I think it's more so of knowing how much money is go- being put into the house where you're like, should I just do the work and just clean the whole house? Or yeah. should we hire that person that would definitely take that stress off of me? But can we afford it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we had all the money in the world, yeah, I would have someone clean like every <laughs> other day. Clean the dishes, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But um, I I think uh, the bigger the home, the more stressful it is. Mm-hmm. So I think when our previous home was about 1,300 square feet. Right. And when inflation went up, you know, gas prices went up, the cleaners started charging us $175. And we would do this maybe once every four to six months. Mm-hmm. So like two to four times a year just for like deep cleans. And that was great. But, um, you know, 175 bucks for a 1,300 square feet home. Right now in Vegas, our home is 3,300 square feet. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. It's going to be over <laughs> 300 bucks a month. Yeah. You know, like, I don't want to pay that. I could pretty much every month, I can almost buy a PS5, you know, or a new arcade system. <laughs> like, why would I do yeah. that for cleaning? <laughs> No, I mean, that, that's where I'm just like, you know, that's what you can do with your money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, even like furnishing something like this sounds kind of stressful, you know, because like furnishing our apartment, I mean, we don't, we know we're not going to live there for much longer. Yeah. But like, it took like a whole year to like put things on our wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine <laughs> something that's 3,000 square feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you buy new furniture every time you move into a new apartment? Uh, New used <laughs> yeah like yeah, cool. yeah of course yeah. yeah like whether it's ikea or offer up or facebook marketplace but you get new furniture for, uh, you get new furniture to match your new place yeah yeah I would See, say so. that, that's where i'm like i i don't usually do that when i rent places i'll just have no couch in the living room you know for the whole year that's crazy yeah like even for our house um we didn't know that we had to get shades or blinds or we actually we I guess we knew that we had to, but we didn't realize how much it would cost. So we mm. spent about like eleven, twelve. Oh no, like thirteen grand. Thirteen what? grand. What? Just put a cardboard over it. We did. We did that <laughs> in the beginning when we first moved in. Yeah, like three Be- months. Yeah, because um, what resources were like super backed up, so we didn't have any coverings at all. It was super yeah. bright. And I literally got like USPS boxes. I ripped them open and I like taped them all up over the windows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the more expensive the home, um, the harder it is to take care of, right? And our very first home was only 750 square feet. Yeah. Which was amazing. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't even say the more expensive the home is. It's just the bigger yeah. it is. Because mm-hmm. you can buy an old house, right? That's like huge, but then it can cost even more money because you have to like renovate it. Right. So then it makes me think about like houses with like one acre lots or like pools or whatever yeah. like the maintenance for that just seems crazy well now they have easier ways to clean the pool so obviously there's pool pool guys but now they cost an arm and a leg like 150 bucks a month um <laughs> but now they have this thing called uv sanitation lighting so oh, when they right. build these new pools it costs about two grand to add this uv light and so the UV light will kill all the algae in the pool. Like so legit? Or is legit. it a marketing thing? No, it's legit. So all you got to do is keep the chemicals up and you don't really have to scrub the pool too much, things like that. So you can really maintain the pool yourself. Mm. So that's a great way. But, you know, owning a 750 square feet home, a 1300 square feet home, mm-hmm. and now a 3300 square feet home, which one was your favorite? I would say... Probably the second one, the 1,300 Why? square feet. Well, because even though the house was 
1300 square feet like it it felt tight but at the same time we also had that adu in the back that we built so if it really got to the point where we needed to extend like our living space like we could have just um made some space there and then we Uh. but we also had that pool too and the huge yard like there was a really good balance and the way that everything felt like it was just nice and being in this house like it's nice and i love having this space but just knowing that there's just it's just the cleaning it'll literally take me maybe like two to three days to clean the entire house like throughout the entire day we're trying to like balance taking care of the kids and doing like normal stuff too what is it that gets dirty? Is it just like dust everywhere or like... There's, yeah, there's a lot of dust. And then we have Ryu, our dog, and he's like shedding everywhere. And then you add two kids into the equation. Like yeah. it just gets crazy. Like they're when they eat, crumbs go everywhere or they spill stuff. And it's, I don't know. I would say um, every time I mop the entire house, uh, that same hour, there's either throw up on the floor milk on the floor or something happened every time it's perfectly clean something happens (laughs) in the next hour you know that's crazy um but now you're talking like a true homeowner who's really experienced because any old lady who's experienced uh, being a homeowner for 30 years which you haven't gotten there yet right you're not old but (laughs) what i'm saying is like like, people like what are you trying to i'm trying to say like people like our moms always warn us about things they say don't get a big house it's so much to take care of Mm -hmm. or don't have two floors because you're gonna get tired of going up and down the stairs things like that and now that's what you're talking about you know and then (laughs) oh yeah um how is it having like two floors sometimes if if there's there are things that i have to get downstairs i'm just like do I really need it? Like, I don't want to. Oh, like, or if I need some water, right? I'm just like, Dang. can I just deal with it? <laughs> but that's like a small percentage of actually being in the home, right? That's true. Or just, I was just talking about this yesterday. Like, just even going down the stairs sometimes because they're kind of slippery. I don't know if it's the new style of the homes where they kind of like polish it where it's kind of slippery. But I'll, I'll get a little scared when I'm trying to go down the stairs because I'm like, oh, I hope I don't fall, mm. you know, because it's happened before. Yeah, raise your hand if you fell down the stairs before. <laughs> three of us wow okay yeah like i've ate it pretty hard to where i thought i broke my back so uh our stairs are floating stairs they're perfectly stained and there's no scratches on them right it's a brand new house and one time our dog went to the middle of the stairs and she was sleeping the kids were sleeping and i just know that they woke up you know it's the day's gonna start really early so when the dog went to the middle of the stairs i was like oh shit we gotta be quiet so i I went to go grab him and pick him up because I don't want him scratching the stairs on his way down. I picked him up. This guy's 80, 90 pound dog. I turned around and slipped and the dog fell right on top of me while my back just crunched onto the oh. stairs, these wooden stairs. And I thought I broke my back. I'm surprised that you didn't. No, And I fell I mean, down the stairs for the remaining of the stairs. And then uh, one of our kids who I was going to take to school that moment was like, I was just groaning. I was just like, I had a, uh, Peter Griffin moment. I'm just like, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" And it's like, mm-hmm. and I couldn't say anything, you know. So that was my experience, and I know you have something similar. Um, I don't remember what happened, but I think I was, I was just going down the stairs, and I think the second step that I took, I just slipped. I don't know how I slipped, but I did, and I was carrying um like a glass tumbler with water in there and that fell and it broke and like water splashed everywhere but um enzo was following behind me and he was like he's like "Ooh, mom you're in trouble you spill water and you dropped your cup (laughs) on the stairs and i'm like laying there like ow you know like my back was hurting and he didn't even comfort me at all (laughs) yeah what was your experience have you ever fallen forward no how does that even happen but i always think about that it's funny because like i didn't even have anything in my hand nothing it was just regular walking down the steps and somehow i caught my toe (laughs) and then the thing is is like my parents uh stairs go like this okay right so then i fell and then hit the wall that was right there oh you got lucky though (laughs) yeah i was like wow yeah but what hit the wall my face oh shit. yeah Okay, I well, I, I think that was lucky for your parents because if it wasn't your face, they would have a hole in the wall. 
True. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was a pretty bad fall, and I'm pretty sure I f- like can feel it now. You know what I mean? That's oh. yeah. Those are the aches and pains that I feel now. Wow. Yikes. So stairs are dangerous, guys. No matter how old you are, that happened to me in my you know my thirties. Um, how old were you when that happened? I think I was like seventeen. Something yeah. Like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, in his prime, he was still able to fall down the stairs, guys. So uh, if you can avoid it, you know, or I, I don't know, it's personal. It's personal all personal problems. to you guys. Uh, but you know, going back to also you uh, talking about how you like the thirteen hundred square feet home mm-hmm. um, because of the space outside. Now that is how a really experienced homeowner talks because. A lot of times they don't even care what the house looks like anymore. And they just want the space because they can add on, you know. True. So people like to look for homes where it's per square footage. You know, they just want the biggest bang for your buck. What can I do with the backyard? Can I add a whole nother uh, master bedroom? Can I add a whole nother suite to the back? You know, things like that. And I think that is what's really crucial nowadays, especially being in anywhere where we are on the west side where... There's just so many people and houses are getting smaller because yeah. of, of that reason. Is that something that, like, let's say, I mean, I don't know. Is this going to be your forever home or does it feel like you might move again? This one? Yeah. This is our investment home. Oh, okay, This is the it. first time we ever thought of it being an investment home. Got it. Okay. I would say the first house we got that was 750 square feet was just, that's all we could afford. Our, our, first, our starter yeah. home. Yeah. We knew we were going to outgrow it, but we couldn't afford anything else, right? Mm-hmm. It was a $380,000 home. Uh, but the second home we thought was going to be our forever home yeah. at least 20 years. Yeah. I think if it wasn't for the location, then we probably would have stayed there even longer. Yeah. Mm. And it ended up being a four-year home. Yeah. So, like, uh, with this being your investment home, do you feel like you'll be moving into a smaller home after? Yes. Oh, okay. I think for sure. so. We don't <laughs> need wow, a okay. million-dollar home <laughs> at all, you know. We don't um, need all this. I mean, it's nice to have this space, but at the same time, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah. So you would be more focused on like land, like having more land, I guess. More of a balance, I think yeah. so. I think um, I want to find something that I can fix up and really turn it into a dream home. With the so mm. I want to rip out the floors, rip out the kitchen, you know, rip out the bathroom and just put everything in there that we wanted with this new build. Yeah. But we rushed into this new build because we we're probably like the first 10 people to buy a home in this community. Yeah. You know, and now that they're going to have almost 100 homes done. That's a really great investment because every month it goes up ten to thirty k. So you can only imagine by a hundred homes how much this house is going to be worth. Yeah. So this was our investment home, um, but hey, on the next one, you know, we would have from this investment money to do whatever we want. Mm-hmm. We can probably buy a home all cash we and live mortgage free. <laughs> you know, so if we if we didn't have a mortgage anymore, we'll probably be a, a lot more stress free too. That's true. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, this episode. Uh, thank you, Christina, for being here. Make sure to follow her on Instagram and her uh, cute little family on YouTube. And uh, make sure to also follow us on podcasts, platforms, Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon. So until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next win. <laughs>